Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to another Monster Spotlight. Now, a small disclaimer before this video proceeds. Um, I really wanted to make a video for you guys right now, but th there's like, I think there's some construct construction going on. So there's a little bit of banging in the background. Nobody's, nobody, ha nobody's having sex in the next room. I think they're doing construction. At least that's what, that's what it sounds like. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep this short and sweet all right uh, so this is the i'm going to do a monster spotlight on the the light and dark jack um i, I have a light jack here this is by sebus um acosta i think was this was his full id and i think i did i, I think i'm going to borrow this light this dark jack to do like a do, do a test um, to kind of show you what these two monsters can do, they are currently the event monsters right now. So I guess it, it might be a really good idea to show them off. If if there's like intense banging, just just don't mind it. We'll pretend it, we'll, we'll pretend we don't hear. It, okay. I don't know what the fuck they're going, what they're doing upstairs. Um, but anyways, let's 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 do a let's do a test run. Let's let's actually let's um, instead of like doing like a a monster spotlight where I like um, pause it and show their d damage and stuff. Um, you guys will be able to test that very, very soon. But I just kind of wanted to show like, um, I guess uh, what a good team would look like for, for Golems V10. Um, it's going to be somewhat hard running this this one because this this one is a full glass cannon. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually do something. I'm going to do, do this. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run like, I'm gonna run the Sarah, and then I'll, I'll, I guess I have to run a Sap, or else the, the boss is way too hard to kill. We're gonna run three attackers, one Sap, or or one aggressor, two attackers. Uh, basically, this is for the the crit lead. Actually, I could run a, I could run, I could run a defense lead. That, that actually might be better. All right, this, this could be better. Um, I guess this is my yeah, this is my attack Sarah. I'll, I'll go with this one. Oh, wait, or should I go with the crit Sarah? Um, yes, this one. This one. This one's the one that has like all her crit shit maxed out. Okay, so we're gonna do a t do a fast test run with this light jack. I just wanted to um, instead of like showing the damage of the monster, I wanted to show like what the monster would would look like in action we'll just do like two short runs of golden speed 10 of how you can use these monsters um light jack i really would not recommend too much for b10 but she is going to be very very good for farming she will be able to um to take care of a lot of uh a lot of your farming tasks because she is a morale boost attacker now um i also have some very bad news to tell you guys um well it's not it's not that horrible but like it does affect some people. You know, I do these monster spotlight videos um, a lot of the time, and I, I basically what I do is I keep like a list of um, I keep a list of just people that like uh, come to me and say they want to do a monster spotlight. Um, I keep a list. I keep their names. And I keep the monsters. And it's literally like on a little note on my computer. Um, Recently, I accidentally closed the note, and the, my, my list just disappeared. Like, I know it's a horrible way to do it, but I, I really shouldn't have done that. Ooh, she, she does a lot of damage. The side unit just died straight out from the AoE. Nuker comp. Nuker plus sapper comp. I think, I think this could work for B10. She run, like, three light jacks. Probably do the same job. And then run, like, a sapper. It's I, I think using three nukers is a little bit overkill, but I guess if you if you want to build like multiple light jacks, you can probably do something similar. Um, the darks the Sarahs pretty much almost have the same skills as Jacks, but Jack is better for B10 because the Sarahs have Elemental Edge, and she died. All right, this is this is a little bit risky. I I probably shouldn't be doing this. Oh shit! Oh god! Wait, I just need this one to survive. Can she live? I think she's on an HP gem. She might just crit. Yes, yes, I win. Oh my god, this thing fell. Um. Oh yeah. Back back to the bad news. The bad news is I lost the list. 
So I I lost the list of people that are queued up for spotlight. I know I know it's really irresponsible. I'm I'm very very sorry. I'm gonna make a new list, and, and this list will be official. All right. This list will be this new list will be official. I'll I'll have an Oprah like a separate channel on my Discord that nobody can write in except me, but everyone can look at. And anyone that comes with me for a request for Monster Spotlight, I will like put down on that channel. So like everybody is on the same page. Like they know that they know exactly who's next for Spotlight. All right. I think I think that's a much much better that idea than than me um doing a notepad because I I literally just I, I lost everything. Oh God, I'm so. I'm I'm really sorry, um, but moving on, we're gonna we're gonna use this dark jack now. The dark jack is is um, is much much better for um, for for Golem's B10. Now she she is a passive healer, plus she is also a sapper. Now a really good way I'm considering using her is I'm I'm thinking of using a light Nike. Um, well, I guess light Nike lead is pretty good. Uh, what, wait, what lead does she have? There's a red soul. It's not. It's not too good. It's kind of useless. Tackle is definitely better. Um, so basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna go in with a um, with a nuker. Yes, nuker. No, not nuker. Um, aggressor that can tank. And then now she's a passive healer, so she'll be able to keep my Nike alive as well as a um, a sapper. So it's very very good for the boss. Um, the other thing is she's dark, so she has a, a little bit of extra crit damage. Not not too bad for um, for doing a little bit of damage. Now the other two units I'm going to use is I think I recently regen this. I put some random gems on this Mona. It's just like three random attack gems. Uh, you probably should max this out if you want to. If you really want to use um, a nuker, wait. Let's see if I have another better farmable nuker. Um, I guess I'll use the Mona. Uh, this might not work out exactly because these gems are pretty shit, but <laughs> actually, yeah, I'll, I'll use the succubus. The Mona might, th th those gems might not be good enough. Um, I guess the succubus is still pretty common. Um, you basically for the fourth slot, you can use any attacker, any, r preferably some attacker with morale boost might be a little bit better. And then you can use your dark jack, and then a light tank to solo tank, and then a sapper, someone that can um, provide sap. And you, what, what you want to do is you want to gem the sapper up like full nuke as well, um, just like just all damage. All right, so we're gonna go in, and we're gonna, and and this should be pretty stable because the we have two, we technically have two sappers because the dark jack is also a sapper. All right, so if you wanna if you wanna do or if you want me to do a monster spotlight, um, please PM me on Discord, and I will like I, like I will on Discord on my new channel. I'll I'll add this right after the video. I'll have a new channel, and then like anyone that PMs me on Discord, I will add them add their name on a list to that channel. Like everyone can view that channel, but I'm the only one that that can uh, change things or type things in the channel, and it'll just be like a just this list that will be public and this way like everybody's on the same page we know exactly um we know exactly who's up next for for uh for monster spotlights and stuff as you can see this is working very well um she's she does she is healing quite a lot i think i think he currently has her gem triple hp it's healing like seven thousand a a turn so it's definitely pretty good it's basically the you just need a little bit of healing to keep the Nike alive during the wave, and then once you get to the boss, if you have another pair her up with another Sapper, um, Water Miho is definitely really really excellent. You can use the Water Miho to, um, you know, to to kill the boss with saps and stuff, and she's also gonna help a little bit with her sap. Wait, I just realized her gems aren't maxed. She's only healing for a thousand five hundred. I probably should have checked her gems before, but. I guess it doesn't matter. We're about to win this anyways. So yeah, you can. She's a passive healer. You can go uh, passive healer, uh, light tank, sapper, and then nuker. Um, you just have these four units. Yeah, we're definitely gonna win this. I think. I hope. Oh shit. Ooh, my miho might be in trouble. 
Oh shit, that, that, that thing might kill her. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We still we still we still got the heals. Okay, this uh the problem is this this jack is not gemmed up, I don't think. I, I probably should have checked the gems before borrowing it for a spotlight. But I mean it worked, right? So what what can you say? <laughs> Okay, this this is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. Um, I don't have the right monsters. I don't have the right farmable monsters because I, I kind of limited myself a little bit. I didn't want to use like my OP monsters, like my Jin and shit, um, to to do to do this. I wanted to use like mostly monsters that people could um, access, like the Nike, who everybody has because she's free, and she's also free to Evil Three because you can fuse multiple versions of Nikes. And the the Miho, um, which is farmable as well. The Succubus technically isn't farmable, but she's only a Nat four, so it's like pretty easy to um, summon her. And you don't even need to use her; you can use any um, any nuker, any like if you have like a dark nuker, like a dark lat, um, dark Sarah from last event, you can use that. And if you have like a Water Mona, that will work very well as well. Or if you have any like Nat five nuker, like you know Water Valk or something, you can use that as well. Um, but yeah, that, that is, that is pretty much it. Um, I guess this isn't really all that educational. It's just, it was just more, more for fun, um, doing just two test runs with, uh, with the Jacks. Um, but I think Dark Jack is definitely really, really good for newer players if they're trying to get into Golem Speed 10, because she can be the passive healer to keep your light, light tank alive. This way, you don't need a light healer. You can just go with um, you can just go with her, and then a light tank, and then a, a sapper and a nuker, and that that'll make a really nice, um, really stable, really fast. Well, pretty fast. Um, Golden Speed Ten team. And for the light jack, she's just a good farmer all around. You can like once you get her with like siphon gems, you can just use her to farm your story mode, um, and things will things will definitely work pretty well. Anyways, that is that is pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you wanna, uh, if you want me to ever do a monster spotlight, I'm I'm really sorry about losing the list. Um, but if you want me to do a monster spotlight, hit me up on Discord, and I will add you to the list, like the official list. And that list will be visible for everybody to see. So like, it'll be online, and like I won't be able to lose it. I won't be able to like, you know, like, you guys will know that if you're on the list, and then like, if you were not on the list or if you like change your rep to something else then I'll, I'll like mark you something different on the list so like everybody can see so like it's 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 open um yeah anyways that's pretty much it um thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out